Hello, hello, everyone. We have a bit of a predicament. This guy wants a sandwich. And the uh, waiters are too uh, too too weird with the legs to get it to him. So what better way to serve someone a sandwich than with a robot? So to do that, we should start off as always with a base. I'm thinking we can get away with a nice with a nice square base like this. All it needs is a set of wheels. That should be good enough. So it looks like the sandwiches drop from that chute there. And then we have to get it up on the table. And then if we just put a pipe on here, extend it up like that. How tall is that table? Let's just extend it up like 10 tall. That should be enough, right? Maybe not. 15. <laughs> just a big old stick. And if we get two of those, and then we just put a corner pipe on like this, and we should be able to attach something in the middle like a couple of servo motors and then make sure they're both spinning the right way that's looking better and then we can connect a rod between the two like that and then we can put a nice surface around the block so my deal with this is that the sandwich drops down onto the thingy and then we just dump it on the table that should be good enough right let's try it out and whoa 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 Easy, easy there. <laughs> He's so speedy. Okay, and uh, uh huh. And <laughs> all right, our robot might need a little bit of work. So if we just extend it like this and then move the wheels, that should give us a lot more stability on our base. And this little thingy is way too small. And also didn't do the spinny thing that I wanted it to. Here, we made a diving board. So I guess we need to set the controls right on these servos. So for this one, we'll have set up like this. And then this button can make it go reverse. And you spin that way and you spin that way. That should be good. And then if we test out the controls, whoa. <laughs> this is be good. Okay, it's a lot more stable. So we just keep it going like this. And it needs a thing. Yeah. Hey, we got it. Okay. Now just gently. Gotta make sure we don't tip the sandwich. Don't need another. Whoa. No, it fell. You... Hey, I didn't break that. You broke it, you jerk. Now I need another one. Okay, just. Nope. Just g give me another one. And land nicely like that. Yes. Now don't get in my way. Maybe I should just send it. Hey, hey, it's working. It's working. Aha. Hey, I got it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Enjoy your upside down sandwich, sir. Oh, now we get to name our nice little robot. We're gonna call it the Send It. Beautiful. So now it looks like this person needs help breaking the pinata. Oh, that's just because that person's a jerk. That's fine though. Ooh, there's a person. I kind of want to dunk the person. So we need something that will destroy the pinata and dunk the human. Actually, you know what? I just want to dunk the human. So I think a heavier base might be a good thing so that robot doesn't get all wibbly wobbly and just make it nice and sizable. Like that. Come over here. Oh, yeah, I never gave it a face. There's a face for a robot. Look at those eyes. He's ready to do some damage. So now that he's got wheels, what's the best way to destroy... A dunk button. Ooh, look at all the shiny things we have. Programmable brain? Weird. How does that work? Oh, nerd stuff. That's how it works. Don't need that. So here's my thought. If I just make a thingy like this, make it really tall, and I mean like really tall, then I can put a piston on here, make sure this thing is really long, and then we just punch the button. Guess it needs to go a little higher, like that. <laughs> Imagine one of these showing up to your party. That might be a little off balance. Let's just make sure that our piston is working nicely. Set that to move out. Set this to move in. And how much force can we put? Oh my. <laughs> Max force to piston will apply while trying to reach its target. Or the velocity. Uh... <laughs> oh, this will be exciting. I need to try this. So it ooh, it drives well on its own. And then how's the piston? <laughs> That's going to break someone's face. I need to see it happen. 
Just make my way to the button. Hello. Just gonna, uh huh, yeah. And whoa. And then that should reach, right? And hiya. Oh. A little closer. And then hiya. Oh, did it not? I'm pushing the button. I literally deleted the button. Why did you not dunk? What is this behind there? Blink and dump the human in the tank. That's what I'm trying to do, but the, the button is back there. Well, what then? Oh, it's not on. Is that right? Shut the generator's loose panel. Oh, so it is. Uh, Okay, just, well, <laughs> there you go. I did it. And there's a secret. And then I can do the thing, right? <laughs> Look at the little eyes on there carefully. Uh-huh. Get back in position. And sayonara. Yeah, I did it. That was awesome. And whoa, careful. Okay, uh-huh, yeah. So you're being a jerk right now with that thing. I kind of just want to punch you with the piston, but I can also just punch the pinata. Oh, it didn't destroy on the first hit. That's fine though. Just want to, hey, I did it, yeah. And now you, you're a jerk. Let's just wrap you around like that and make you let go of the thing. That did it. And now there's a glowy thingy over here. Uh, that, that's a stinky gift. And who's clapping? Stop it, you're loud and annoying. And I don't like you. And I just destroyed some balloons. Okay. Oh, well, that was fun. We're gonna call this one Ponchi. And now, oh, wow. This guy's got dust bunnies everywhere. That is disgusting. And he's also sleeping, so we gotta be quiet. You guys know I'm great at being quiet. So we got some, hey, some cosmetics. Oh, cool, bubble machine. I need that on my robot. But for now, we got some new mechanical things, the bristles. Okay, how big are these? Not too big at all. I wonder if we can just make a super small robot to go under all the furniture. Let's go ahead and do that by using these super small wheels. We're basically gonna be creating a Roomba better than Roomba. Why is it better than Roomba? Because it's got a bubble machine. Yes, beautiful. And since it's trying to go under furniture, <laughs> look at the size of this head. <laughs> I love it. He needs a hat. Oh yes, he is so dapper. And then we still need to attach the bristle somewhere with a, where is it? There it is, a servo. One of these ones. Just gonna keep you over there for now. And you. And then we need to curve around the wheels so we have enough space. Kind of like that. Flip it around this way. And now this should be able to go on. Not like that. Like this. And get you spinning like that. Rod runs through the middle. And now we can attach these things. There we go. Beautiful. And then let's get another one. Yes. And hopefully that works. Hey, it's working. It's very noisy though. Let's just see if it cleans up. Oh, beautiful. We have a dapper little sweeper. Hopefully he doesn't wake the sleeping human. And hopefully he fits under the couch. Oh, uh, um. Let's just uh, go back this way. <laughs> He's just squirting out little bubbles once in a while. Oh, I didn't even see these. Tire tracks. Let's just sweep those up as well. Beautiful. And, oh, why are there, why is there dust bunnies on the desk? That's not cool. How am I supposed to get to that? At least I can sweep up all the skid marks on the floor. Okay, no, this is a noise test. Let's not wake the human. Just squeezing right under the, the table or the bed. And flawless. Why is he sleeping with his name tag on? And I, how do you get dust bunnies on a plant? Humans are weird. And oh, okay. We got those ones. And then maybe we can just use our hat to uh, push this chair back where it goes. Nice. Okay, that was working pretty good, but now I need something to get those dust bunnies up high because people are messy. And I just had an idea. If we move all of this fancy stuff up, like that, put all of this down like that. And it's detached right now, but that's because I want to put in a piston. Yes, like that. And we don't need these attachment points anymore. So what we can do instead is just put a thingy in 
like that. Extend the piston to meet it, hopefully. Hmm, this might be the wrong kind of piston. Why, uh, why is it not attaching? Do I just gotta go like that and then... Oh, wait, this is what I need. Yes, there we go. And then just, uh, fill in the gaps. So then now it can extend to reach the stuff under the bed and all the furniture. That should work a lot cleaner. And then now I need something to get up high. So if I just put another piston on the back, I don't need it as tall as the tallest point, just halfway. And then from here, get a rounded corner on there to put another piston on. Extend that a fair way. And then I can put this whole assembly up on here. Yes. That should work nicely. I hope it's connected. And let's hopefully it works. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it's... Why is it extended all the way? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I guess I need to set the controls. So, okay, the bristles run all the time. That's fine. So let's have you be... This piston going out. And then you can be this piston going in. Just setting all the rest of these controls. Okay, hopefully that's a lot more controllable. Okay. It's not freaking out. Still- Oh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It's very forward heavy. Just- Maybe it'll work. Okay, the extension works. And- Oh, all that- Ah! Uh, and I, uh... <laughs> I can just make him push himself backwards. And push. And push. Whee! <laughs> okay, everything's working. Oh, there it is. Nice. All the pistons work. Now I just need to f solve the weight problem. And you know what? I don't think this piston is big enough as it is to reach under the bed. So let's just extend it back this way. And then just push these back like this. Resize this block. And that should solve the weight problem. Oh, look at that. That is smooth. It's just a little weird to turn. But then hopefully... Oh, it's too tall for the table. Or maybe it isn't. Let's just... Uh-huh. Uh, uh -huh. If I can just jerk it this way, kind of, then... And then extend this like that. I can almost get it low enough. But it's not working. New idea. I give to you the triple decker cleaner. Might be a little stiff to turn, but it should be able to get all the different levels of cleaning. From the ones on the floor, coming over here to the ones on the desk. We just line it up right, raise this up, and push it in. Nice! And then we clean this one because we're working our way over to the top shelf. Oh yes, it reaches. So then to get these ones up here, if we just ram this thing into the cupboard, the cabinet, so that the middle piston doesn't go, then we can push and clear those ones. Nice, that works so well. Okay, now we can just carefully turn around like this. And then clear up this little bit of dust. Nice. You might be wondering if I can get to the ones below the desk, because we got giant arms overhead. Well, the answer is... Yes! And man, that works so beautifully. This guy's gonna sleep for an eternity with this thing cleaning. And we can also come over here to this guy who doesn't have to worry about sleeping. And then just clear under his chair. I think we cleared that. We did. And ooh, don't, don't pull the chair with you. We don't need to take him with us. We only do abductions on Tuesdays. And then... Get those ones nicely done. The chair doesn't even move that much. Now I just gotta be careful not to break anything. Thankfully, I am flawless and amazing. And this is a bit of a bigger challenge. Can I get under the bed? If I raise this up carefully, uh-huh. Don't don't touch him. Line it up right. And then we should be able to just extend this. And come on. Okay. Got got a, a uh-huh. And there there's some more. Yep. Just okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. We'll probably get those from the other side. Just gonna clear this one up while I'm here. Yep. Along with this one. Ooh, careful. I don't know if bumping the bed wakes him 
I'm also just gonna get these weird plant ones because I don't understand still how you can get dust on a plant. Just gently. Yes, poke that one. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I knocked the dust off of it. <laughs> that uh, works well for me. I'll just back this up and then poke that one from range. Nicely done, me. Actually, it's not even me. It's our fun little triple decker cleaner here. Okay, we got 35 out of 50 dust. Why is this room so dusty? And get the lampshade. Just carefully, please. Yes. Oh, careful. Careful. What's happening? Why are you moving forward? Just move back. Yes. And that one under there is just so annoying. I'm gonna have to extend this completely just to maybe squeeze under there enough. Just, uh, yeah, um, don't, don't. Please reach. Oh, I got it! Oh, wait, what? What's that little bit doing there? Come on, just poke it. Ha! And, yeah, get it, get it under there. Oh, I got it! Ooh, oh, I cleared under the bed and he's... He's still sleeping peacefully with his weird little name tag. Okay, now just to find the rest of the dust bunnies, which are different from these bunnies. Underneath the clothes rack. No dust on the clothes though. And I am seeing all these little notes around here. Clean the pair of shoes? Which pair of shoes? Those ones? Oh yeah, those are filthy. But I don't care about them. I'm here for the dust. Raise it up. <laughs> just uppercut that one. And then, yep. Get those and woo easy. No. Oh no 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 no! You just you just you just go back, go back like you were. There you go. That's a good bookshelf. And then this one right there. Yep. Now where's the rest of it? I found it. Just punch those so I don't have to get too close to the glass. Sweep up the corner. Oh, oh, there was a puddle in the corner. Huh. Well, I'm only here for dust. Slowly creep my way back like this. And then that's the last one right there. Just get a good line on it. Extend. And we did it! Three stars! Whew! Wow. Our triple decker cleaner is amazing. I'm gonna name you Tyler the Triple Decker Cleaner. Yes! <laughs> Look at him! He knows he did a good job. And a nice score to boot. Well, anyway, guys, I think that'll do it for today's video of RoboCo. Hope you guys enjoy. There's a lot of fun things you can do because humans can't even figure out how to walk right. So if you guys want to see more of this, definitely let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And I would like to thank all the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Calvin K, Master Roshi, Mr. Cripple One, Monkey, Ancient Elixir One, Destructo Man, Soldier 113, Evan F, Joe C, Cowboy, Donamoto, Devion X, Elias P, and Lucas S.